गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट दिनेश मिगलानी डॉट कॉम दिस इज इज सेशन ऑन एलजब्रिक इन इक्वेशन ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सेशन फॉर आई टी जे एन डी एम सी एज वेल एज प्लस वन एग्जामिनेशन दिस सेशन इज ऑल्सो वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर कैट एम बी एग्जामिनेशन वी हैव डिवाइडेड दिस सेशन इन टू थ्री पार्ट इन द फर्स्ट सेशन Uh, in the first part, we are going to uh, discuss about the general rules of inequalities. In the second part, we try to uh, dis- uh, talk about the modulus inequality, right? And in the third part of this session, we will uh, discuss about uh, inequality in px y q x form, right? Or you may say that that is our number line method. Number line method. So these uh, three. parts are there of this session okay now let us start with this session uh, for the first part we are talking about the general rule of inequalities okay and as well as i will take one or two questions so that you will uh, you are in a position to better understand the concept so when i consider this general rule of inequality suppose if i say x is greater than a right now the rule is very simple if i add a constant both side or if i subtract if i add a constant or if i subtract it will not put any effect on the inequality suppose i have added m both sides so it will be x plus m is greater than a plus m right and similarly if i subtract x my x minus m is greater than a minus m means if i add or subtract तो इट विल नॉट इफेक्ट द साइन ऑफ इनइक्वालिटी आप प्लस करिए माइनस करिए इनइक्वालिटी को इफेक्ट नहीं करेगा इफ आई मल्टीप्लाई और डिवाइड इफ आई मल्टीप्लाई और डिवाइड इन दैट केस वी हैव टू बी अवेयर अबाउट द साइन ऑफ एम इफ एम इज पॉजिटिव इफ एम इज पॉजिटिव इट मींस यू मे मल्टीप्लाई डिवाइड एक्स इंटू एम इज ग्रेटर देन ए इंटू एम और एक्स अपॉन एम is greater than a upon m right means if you multiply or divide in that case if you multiply or divide with a positive quantity it will not affect us right but if m is negative now that is the most important point here if m is negative by the number you are multiplying or dividing both sides in that case sign of inequality will change very important thing is that sign of inequality will change right so for example if i say If m is less than zero, it means x m will be less than a m, right? And similarly, x upon m will be less than a upon m. It simply means that in the questions of inequality, if we are multiplying or dividing both sides by the same number, so you have to consider that by what number you are multiplying or dividing, that you must know about the sign of that, right? If you know about the sign. in that case you are able to get your answer but if you don't know about the sign you cannot multiply i am giving you just a very simple example for example if i write x by 2 is less than 1 x by 2 is less than 1 sorry so here i can say if i multiplying that side by 2 so i can multiply it the reason is because i know the sign of 2 is positive so x is less than 2 that's my answer no issue on the other hand if i say 2 upon x is less than 1 2 upon x is less than 1 now you have to answer it so you cannot multiply you cannot say 2 is less than x that will be totally wrong the reason is because i don't know the sign of x x can be positive or x can be negative if x is positive in that case i can multiply right but in case x is negative in that case this question will be wrong i hope the idea is clear so in the question of inequality the first type that we are talking about if you have to multiply or divide by a constant number so you should know about the sign of the number if that is positive without any problem you may multiply right the sign of an inequality will not change but if you if the if that number is a negative in that case sign of inequality will change okay now on this uh, let us take uh, one or two problems so that you will get the idea here uh, my first question is Uh, it's given that one by two, three by five x plus four is greater than equal to one by three x minus six. I have to talk about 
the x. I have to find the interval for x, right? Now, we have to solve it. So what I can say, uh, this side multiply by 2, this side multiply by 3, I can multiply. So that gives me uh, 9x divided by 5 plus 12, right? And here, multiply by 2, this is 2x minus 12. That you can say, right? Now, I can what I can do, take 12 here, this is 24, is greater than or equal to 2x minus 9x by 5. LCA would be 5. So I can say 24 greater than x upon 5 or 120 is greater than x. Or I can say finally, my answer is x is less than or equal to 120. So this is the interval for x. Very simple. Means uh, you may multiply by that sign 2 there. The reason is 2 is positive. 3 is positive. I can cross multiply. Then I will bring all values of x on the same side. And I have to solve it. So here I can say x will be less than or equal to 120. Okay. Let us take uh, one more problem here. It's uh, given that question number 2 5x by 4 plus 3x by 8 is greater than 39 by 8. Okay. And 2x minus 1 divided by 12 minus x minus 1 divided by 3 is less than 3x plus 1 divided by 4. Right. So, I have to find out the interval for x. Means, here and sign is there. It means, I require the common solution that will satisfy this as well as this. So, first, I will solve this. 4, 8 and 8, else will be 8. So, this is 10x plus 3x greater than 39. Or you may say 13x is greater than 39. x is greater than 3. Right. Now, I will take uh, this value. Uh, what is my LCM? LCM is 12. So it should be uh, 2x minus 1 minus 4x plus 4 less than 9x plus 3. So I have taken LCM 12. So it should be 2x minus 1. Okay. 3, 4 per jag. It should be minus 4x plus 4. And 4 will go on 3. It will be 9x plus 3. Right. The next thing, 2x minus 4x is minus 2x plus 3 less than 9x plus 3. Okay. Now, this will come here and this will be cancelled out. So, I can say 7x is greater than 0 or x is greater than 0. Right. Now, I have to combine both. So, let us draw it on the number line. This is 0 and this is 3. x is greater than 3. It means, if I say x is greater than 3, it goes there. Since, according to the question, x is greater than 3. Right. And here, I can, here x is greater than 0 x is greater than 0. Okay. Now, what is the common solution? Common solution is that portion. It means finally, I can say x is greater than 3 or you may say answer is 3 to infinity. That becomes my answer. Right. So, at the end, what we can say, since the sign is uh, and, so we have to take a common solution for them. So, when you take the common solution, so you can say that your answer should be uh, x belongs to 3 to infinity. Right. So this is first type of questions, first variety of question that we have discussed in this session. Now after that, let us take the second variety of questions uh, which are based on concept of modulus inequality. Modulus inequality, right? Before going further, first of all, I just want to tell you what you mean by this modulus function. Uh, suppose fx is equal to modulus of x, right? So, how it is uh, defined? Uh, modulus of x is always equal to x where x is greater than or equal to 0 and modulus of x is minus x where x is less than 0, right? So very simple thing. Ki modulus of x is equal to x. If x is positive or equal to 0, so this result will always be equal to x. If x is a negative number, so this will be minus x, right? Uh, Sometimes you are confused that why we put here minus. The reason is very simple. Suppose we have to find modulus of minus 2. So I will write it as minus of minus 2. This will be 2. I know that modulus function will always be positive. Right. Now here we are talking about the concept of inequality. So one thing you have to remember. Very simple thing. If modulus of x is less than a. If modulus of x is less than a. Uh, for the uh, remembrance point of view. So I know that either 1a and then it is minus a. 
तो वेयर यू हैव लेस देन साइन एक्स लाइज बिटवीन इन साइड द इंटरवल बिटवीन ए टू माइनस ए तो हेयर वेन यू हैव मॉडुलस ऑफ एक्स इज लेस देन ए तो इंटरवल फॉर एक्स इज एक्स लाइज बिटवीन ए टू माइनस ए सिमिलरली वेन यू हैव मॉडुलस ऑफ एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन ए इट विल लाई आउट साइड ऑफ द इंटरवल इट मीन्स एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन ए और एक्स इज लेस देन माइनस ए राइट so two things you have to understand also i am ex explaining you with the help of the number line suppose we have two numbers a and minus a if it is less than a if it is less than a it will lie inside the interval so that simply means x lies between a to minus a okay so that is the case when it is less than a okay and when it is more than a it means it will lie outside of the interval and what do you mean by this term outside of the interval it means this portion you have to take this one and this one so this is x is greater than a and this one is x is less than a right so using this you can simply say that only based on the modulus we can easily get our answer for example if i say modulus of x minus 2 is less than 3 i have to find the interval for x right now what do you know modulus of x is less than a this simply means x lies between a to minus a right now here other modulus of x minus 2 less than 3 hai to aap kya kahenge you will say that x minus 2 lies between 3 to minus 3 right now 2 will be here 2 will be here x is 3 plus 2 and here it is minus 3 plus 2 to x lies between 5 or it is minus 1 so answer to my question is x lies between minus 1 to 5 that becomes my answer again try to understand what we have done according to the question it is given that modulus of x minus 2 is less than 3 it means this x minus 2 lies between 3 to minus 3 now 2 will come here and 2 will be here so you may say minus 1 is less than x to 5 so that is my answer on the other hand if i write in this way modulus of x minus 2 is more than 3 right now you know that if modulus of x is greater than a once x is more than a and second x is less than minus a it means x minus 2 is more than 3 or x minus 2 is less than minus 3 right now x is greater than 5 or x is less than minus 1 so this becomes my answer so here i can say x is greater than 5 or x is less than minus 1 right so very simple thing two things you have to remember in your mind modulus of x is less than a the result should be x lies between a to minus a and the second thing where modulus of x is more than a in that case what you have to remember you have to simply remember that uh, your uh, x should be more than a or less than minus a right So let us take uh, some questions on the concept of modulus inequality. Uh, the first question that we are going to take here is: It is given that uh, modulus of x minus one is less than equal to five, and modulus of x is greater than equal to two. Right? You have to solve the inequality or find the interval for x. Right? Now. Modulus of x is less than equal to a. It means x minus one lies between five to minus five. Okay. Now it should be x that is six, and this is minus five plus one minus four. So that's my answer from here. Okay. Now also from here and now modulus of x is more than a. What does it mean? X is greater than equal to two or x is less than equal to minus two. Since you know. If modulus of x is greater than equal to a, so x is more than equal to a, or x is less than equal to minus a, right? Now we have to club both. So what you can say? First, I draw this minus four and six. So it is my answer between minus four to six, inclusive of both. Now here, two to minus two. Let us say this point is two, and this point is minus two, right? X is greater than equal to two. X is more than equal to two in this side. inclusive of this so this is the common solution and x is less than equal to minus 2 so this is the common solution right so finally what i can say minus 4 to minus 2 close interval union 2 to 
क्लोज इंटरवल दैट बिकम्स माई आंसर तो दिस इज माई फाइनल आंसर तो वट हेयर आई कैन से हेयर इट शुड बी बिटवीन माइनस फोर टू माइनस टू एंड इट शुड बी बिटवीन टू टू सिक्स दैट बिकम्स माई आंसर राइट तो क्वेश्चन आर वेरी सिंपल ओनली द प्रिंसिपल मस्ट बी क्लियर इन यूर माइंड विद दैट यू कैन इजिली आंसर यूर प्रॉब्लम लेट एस टेक द सेकेंड प्रॉब्लम हेयर फॉर दिस कॉन्सेप्ट माई क्वेश्चन इज इट इज गिवन दैट थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय मॉड्यूलस ऑफ एक्स प्लस टू इज मोर देन इक्वल टू वन वी हैव टू फाइंड व्हाट इज द इंटरवल फॉर एक्स राइट थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय मॉड्यूलस ऑफ एक्स प्लस टू मोर देन इक्वल टू वन राइट नाउ सिंस यू नो देखो थ्री इज पॉजिटिव दिस इज पॉजिटिव इट मीन दिस मस्ट बी पॉजिटिव वेन इट इज पॉजिटिव आई कैन क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई थ्री इज मोर देन इक्वल टू मॉड्यूलस ऑफ एक्स प्लस टू यू कैन से Two will come here. So one is more than equal to modulus of x. It means I can say modulus of x is less than equal to one. So what should be your answer? X lies between one to minus one. So this is your final answer. Here what I can say? X lies between one to minus one. That is your answer, right? Uh, one more problem I am taking here. It is given as. modulus of x minus 2 less than equal to 3 more than equal to 1 okay so finally i have to find what is the interval for x now what i can do here i will break into two parts first one is modulus of x minus 2 is greater than equal to 1 and modulus of x minus 2 is less than equal to 3 you can say since modulus of x minus 2 lies between 1 to 3 so i can convert into two parts now next thing Since this is more than one, it means x minus two is more than equal to one, or x minus two is less than equal to minus one. Since you know, if modulus of x is more than a, it means x is more than equal to a, or x is less than equal to minus a. That you can say, right? And here I can say uh, x minus two lies between three to minus three. Okay. Now solve it. I can say x is more than equal to three, or this goes there. X is less than equal to one. One interval you have. If you solve this, two will be there. X is less than equal to five and minus one. Right? And inside them is and. It means I have to take the common solution. Just draw them. My points are minus one, one, three, and five. Okay. X is less than equal to one. So x is less than equal to one. In this side, x is more than equal to three. X is more than equal to three. Right? Here you can say x is between minus one to five. So x is between minus one to five. Right? So that's my solution. It means my common solution is this portion. Right? The answer should be minus one to one. Close interval union three to five. Right? so that becomes my answer so my answer is very simple here it is between minus 1 to 1 union 3 to 5 i hope the idea is clear so that is our second part of this uh, topic algebraic inequations in which we have just understood how to solve the questions which are based on modulus right now in third part of the inequality we discuss about those questions in which we will apply the wavy curve method the name of the method is wavy curve method wavy curve method right or you may call this method as number line method this method is also named as wavy curve method right or you may call this method as the number line method right in what type of problem this type of questions can be there where our expression is in the form of px by qx it is either more than equal to some number or it is less than equal to some number right like for example if i say uh, x minus 1 into x plus 2 divided by x minus 5 is more than equal to 0 i have to find the interval for x right the question would be of this type 
now for answering these type of problem we have some basic rules that you have to consider first rule is factorize first rule is factorize all px and gx px and qx whatever px and qx is there factorize it second point either it is more than 0 or more than equal to 0 less than 0 less than equal to 0 right if some constant number is there first take this constant in this side solve it and then convert it into the factorized form okay third thing sign of x positive sign of x will always be positive right if you have suppose uh, 1 minus x right in that case make it as x minus 1 so sine of x must be made positive by you and fourth thing power must be even power of any part must be even power kya rakhni aapne Malab, if power is even you have to leave it power must be odd why since even power will always be positive suppose if i say x minus 2 whole square ठीक है तो आपको पता है भी अगर x minus 2 का whole square है तो वो हमेशा क्या रहता है positive रहेगा उसका तो कोई sign पे effect पड़ेगा नहीं तो power जो है वो आपने क्या बनानी है it must also be odd let us start with an example तभी clear होगा suppose if I say my question is x minus 2 into x plus 3 divided by x minus 1 this is greater than 0 we have to find the interval for x so what is the process First, I try to uh, understand it. Factorization, all are factorized. Second thing, it should be either more than 0 or less than 0. We have more than 0. Third thing, sine of x is positive. So this is positive, this is positive, this is positive. Power should be odd. So every power is odd, power 1, power 1 and power 1. It means all conditions are satisfied, right? So what is the process for that? Put all terms equal to 0. So I am getting x is 2 minus 3 and 1. ये three values आ गई। भई जितने भी आपके linear आपके पास factors हैं, सबको आपने zero put कर दिया। and after putting all the terms to be zero, you are getting this three numbers x equal to two, x equal to minus three and x equal to one, right? Now what is the process? Show all of them in the number line minus three, one and every time start from here positive, negative, positive, negative. It's a standard. This interval is for positive, positive means more than 0. This interval for negative, for less than 0. Again, this is positive and this is negative. So, this is positive interval and this is positive interval. So, what does it say? X is greater than 2. Since here, X is more than 2. And this is negative. It says, X is between 1 to minus 3. So, answer to my question is, what is my answer? Here, my answer is very simple. X is greater than 2 and x is more than minus 3 and less than 1 right so uh, uh, from this interval you may take any value any value from this interval will always satisfy this inequality right so that becomes my answer let us take uh, one more question suppose i write x minus 1 x plus 7 x minus 4 divided by x minus 2 is greater than 0 you have to find the interval for x let us take to be less than 0 for your understanding i am taking this to be less than 0 and i have to find the interval for x right now what i will do uh, first i will check all the conditions factorization is there sign negative hai uh, sign of all x is positive and all powers are odd put all them all of them equal to 0 so i am getting the values of x to be 1 minus 7, 4 and 2. ठीक है? हमने सबको 0 put कर दिया and you are getting all of values of x to be 1, minus 7, 4 and 2. Right? Now, show all of them on the number line minus 7, 1, 2 and 4. Right? Uh, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. Now, what I require? Negative signs, it means this interval and this interval. Right? So what do you mean by this interval x lies between 4 to 2 and this interval x lies between 1 to minus 7. So that becomes my answer. So my final answer is x lies between 1 to minus 7 and the second one is x lies between 2 to 4. Right. So that will become my final answer. Right. So you have to solve that accordingly your answer will be there.
okay so based on that let us take uh, some more questions so that idea would be clear to you so my first problem here is x minus 1 divided by x is more than equal to 2 right x minus 1 divided by x is more than equal to 2 you cannot multiply the reason is that the point is very simple since we don't know what is the sign of x since we don't know what is the sign of x it means we cannot multiply so for that what is expected take 2 here x minus 1 by x minus 2 greater than equal to 0 Minus 2x divided by x greater than equal to zero. So minus 1 minus x by x more than equal to zero. Right? Now we have to make all x to be positive. This is negative. Multiply by minus. So x plus 1 by x is less than equal to zero. Sign will be changed now. Put both of them equal to zero. So you get two values minus 1 and zero. Show it on the number line minus 1 and zero. Plus minus plus, I have to take minus. It means this is my answer. So answer is x lies between zero to minus one. That's your answer. Here my answer is very simple. X lies between zero to minus one. This will be my answer. Again, try to understand what we have done in this question. You have to bring this value in this side. So this gives you x minus one by x minus two greater than equal to zero. I have taken the LCM. This is minus 2x. So x minus 1 minus 2x by x more than equal to zero, right? So this gives me minus 1 minus x by x more than equal to zero. Now I take minus outside as a common. So x plus 1 by x less than equal to zero, right? Now put of both of them equal to zero. So one value is minus 1. Second one value is zero. Uh, put it. Uh, show it on the number line. Minus 1 to zero. Less than zero inside the interval, so I can say answer to my question is x lies between minus one to zero. That becomes my answer. Okay. And let us take uh, one more question here. It's given that x minus one whole cube into x plus one less than zero. Right. Now what I have told you, power must be odd. Here it is odd power. How much big it is, it does not affect, right? Put both of them equal to zero. One and minus one. Show it on the number line. Minus one and one, right? Uh, sign is less than zero. Plus minus plus. So answer is x is between one to minus one. So this is the answer to this question. Here finally you can say that x lies between one to minus one. That becomes your answer. So here I am going to take the last question, a typical problem, so that you will understand what we have done in the whole session here. Uh, my last statement is: five x minus one is less than x plus one whole square is less than seven x minus three. Right? We have to find uh, find the solution for x. Right? Uh, make them into two parts. 5x minus 1 less than x plus 1 whole square and x plus 1 whole square less than 7x minus 3. Clear? Now open the square. 5x minus 1 x square plus 1 plus 2x. Right? Take all values here. So it should be more than 0. So x square plus 2 minus 3x. Or you can say. X square minus 3x plus 2 is greater than 0, right? Now factorize it. X minus 1 into x minus 2 is greater than 0. Show it on the number line 1 and 2. Plus minus plus. We have to take the positive sign. It means x is greater than 2, or x is less than 1, or x is less than 1. So this is the solution that we get it from here, right? So what I can say? Uh, from this part, we can get that x is more than two and x is less than one. Right? Now we consider this. So what does it says? X square plus one plus two x is less than seven x minus three. So x square minus five x plus four is less than zero. So what you can say here? So from here you may say. X square minus 5x plus 
is less than 0. Now factorize it. So this is x minus 1 into x minus 4 is less than 0. Right? So here again 1 and 4 plus minus plus minus sign is there. So that you have to take x lies between 4 to 1. Okay? And inside them we have the and sign. Now take the final answer. Uh, 1, 2, it is uh, 1, 2, 4. This states us x is more than 1 and x is, x is, sorry, x is less than 1. So this interval says x is less than 1 or x is more than 2. Okay? And it says x lies between x is more than 1 and less than 4. So x lies between uh, 1 to 4. So common solution is this part. My final answer is x lies between 2 to 4, right? So what I can say, so x lies between 2 to 4, this is the final solution that will satisfy this inequality. I hope the idea is clear. So this is end to our session of the topic of algebraic inequality. In this session, three parts we have covered, which are the theory for this topic inequality. A very important session for the students who are preparing for ITJ, NDA, MCA plus one classes examination. For more videos, you may log in to our website www.dineshmiglani.com or you may also subscribe our YouTube channel Dinesh Miglani Tutorials where you will find all these type of videos with the help of which you can easily prepare for all type of competitive examination. I expect from you to share my videos with your friends so that they will also be benefited by this. Thank you very much.